Hello, hello, and welcome, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. JB here with JB's RCs. Got the Axial SCX10 II kit out today with it at an Air Pekka Sandhills Preserve. Hanging out with Ian's RCs, of course, as always. Love this truck. Fantastic little doodadder. Real simple setup on these. Uh, highly recommended for anybody who's getting into the hobby and doesn't know much about RCs. This is a great one to start with. Uh, you can get the RTR or the kit. Very easy kit to put together. Great instructions. Everything fit together nicely. Uh, I will say a few shims in the uh, axles or on the um, tires, the, the hexes for the tires themselves, just to tighten up those a little bit. But other than that, everything went together great. Not really running anything too special on this. It's still got stock shocks and axles and drivetrain and all that stuff. But we also have a, uh, since it was the kit, all the electronics were not included, so I put those in myself. We got the Hobbywing 1080 ESC in there, running a Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster motor, 3S Lyco battery. We got one of those cheapy Amazon 35 kg servos, the blue ones. All metal gear and waterproof, so it's fantastic. Works great, especially on this truck. It's real light, so I didn't need a real hardcore servo on it. Got a metal front bumper on there with a bull bar, of course. Very nice. Got that Gozer body on there. I love that. The Jade Concepts Gozer. Great body. Fit great. Uh, for the wheelbase, I put the trim a little more on the front fenders. If you haven't heard already in the video, they do rub just a little bit still. Uh, got some metal 1.9 bead locks on there with some um, bead lock rings on the outside that I got. And the 1.9 um, Goodyear Wranglers. Not my favorite tire. More of a trail tire for sure. It's real narrow and the lugs are real long so they bend on the rocks a lot. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I am spinning a lot in this video. So I think I'm going to switch out these tires. I have a set of weighted tusks that I'm going to put on here. So I'm going to try those and see if that helps a little bit. Um, just for the, the spinning purposes and that weight on the tire, maybe hold it down a little better. Other than that, I'm just running some little 5mm brass extensions on there just to give a little bit of width. This was a, a little bit narrow of a truck and uh, side hilling. Um, any, anytime I was tilting sideways, it seemed to want to roll a little bit easy. So I put those extensions on there and that fixed that real good. So yeah, thanks for stopping by everybody. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This is a little quick short one. Um, oh, I'm sorry. The reason this is so quick and short is because this was just a test video because I did put the overdrive in the front axle and the underdrive gears in the rear axle. So I think they're like 16.3% each. So a grand total like 32.6%, 33%-ish overdrive on the front. And that did help with the turning, uh, but as you can see with the tires, they're not, just not gripping well enough uh, on those rocks. So we're gonna switch these out and see, see how much better it can be still. Always upgrading and modifying stuff. You guys know anybody in the hobby, just you drive your truck and it's, oh, the steering's a little, a little slow or a little weak. I need to change that. Or, oh, I need a little more weight here, a little less weight here. Move things around. Oh, I need to adjust the shocks. Springs are too tight. Let's put some small softer springs. Or, oh, no, it's, shock oil's a little low. I mean, they're not coming back as they should. Put a little more shock oil or a little less shock oil. They're too stiff. So a lot of things you can always mess around with these. Yeah. Uh, gearing, of course, always the thing. Like I said, I put the overdrive in the front, underdrive in the rear of this, and it just oh, wait, made a whole different truck. Yeah. No way. Especially in the that steering. That is pretty funny. Um, helps pull that front end around with that front tires turning 33%-ish faster than the rear tires. <laughs> but again, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification button for future videos. And we'll uh, see you next time. Get out there and have some fun.